Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Martha. Today is the 15th of January and I'm here to give you yet more news for the Oculus Rift as the CEO Brendan Areeb has speculated that some games running through the OR and other virtual reality platforms may come at a premium price. Now he said this during an interview with Games Industry International and said that consumers may be willing to spend more on VR experiences than they are on traditional games. And he said, quote, It's going to be up to the developers. There'll be some who make casual, simpler experiences, maybe bite-sized, that are going to be indie developers that make bigger experiences, and that are going to be bigger teams that make really big experiences, and some that we've seen early prototypes of. Well, we've seen some of that. Boy, would I pay a lot to get that experience in virtual reality. And then he noted that the pricing of games tends to shift back and forth over time. Most console games increased in price from $50 to $60 at the start of the last generation, but of course most mobile and downloadable games were cheaper. And the new experience of virtual reality will apparently justify swinging back to the other side of the spectrum. And this comes from the Oculus Director of Developer Relations, Aaron Davies. And he said, quote, The whole concept of charging a premium is somewhat outdated. I'm not, it's not going to say it's going to be up front. It just could be this is going to be an experience you get dialed into. We'll see how it monetizes. If you create content or an experience that someone is passionate about, you're creating a lifestyle for them. And they'll pay for that. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I feel about charging a premium for Oculus Rift games. If we're talking, oh, I don't know, 10 to $20 above the usual retail price, that's pretty damn expensive. Games are already really expensive. And they've kind of, of course, heavily talked up the ease of how basically f for developers to implement the rift into their games so if it's so easy to implement then you know why should we be playing a premium surely the premium comes from buying the headset itself which of course is going to be a fairly expensive device when it comes out understandably so so surely once you've bought the device the game should be roughly the same sort of price as we're playing now especially if it's fairly easy to implement the technology that makes the rift the device that it is now, if a game is made with the Oculus Rift in mind, like it is a completely designed from the ground up virtual reality experience, then maybe you would pay more for that than you would say a game that was made for, I don't know, the PS4 or the Xbox One or whatever, and then was just sort of converted over for the Oculus, then, you know, that would kind of make sense. But, you know, games are expensive and get making them more expensive is it's just, it's just dodgy as hell and whether or not people want to pay it well it varies from person to person but i think most people feel that paying much more than the already standard retail price is not really going to build that palatable especially if they don't feel the experience is worth it so we'll just have to see what actually happens i think developers and publishers will know that the temperament of the market right now is that hey there's already so many consoles out that next-gen consoles have just come out. They will obviously, you know, cost several hundred pounds or such dollars. And of course, the games as well. So is this the kind of market where then we'll not be asking, say, oh, I don't know, $80 for a game? Eh, probably not. But of course, that's just pure speculation from me. Um, as always, do hit me up with your thoughts and opinions. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.